Hello folks and welcome back to Silverun Forest and been a couple of days since the last upload, I do apologise for that. But anyways, we are into November now and I thought what we could do just first of all is quickly go ahead and fertilise our two grass fields. And yeah, so I've been thinking sort of in between the episodes like over the last couple of days of one, setting up the new Let's Play series. Either it's going to be on Ebony Island or Aston Park. I will make that decision today on Thursday when I go and get that series set up. But yeah, so apart from that, uh, what else? Ooh, is there anything else? No, just, no, I don't think there's anything else at the moment. But yeah, in terms of what we're going to do today. I need to what one revise myself or actually what we've done though we've just got our fringe ground from the yacht our second boat and I'm pretty sure it needed wood beams in that actually one thing we can do quickly is claim those contracts thank you very much ah that was it yeah in terms with productions, I am thinking about expanding our productions. Yes, we got the all in one production, but really, I'm going to keep that just as like our spinning read down here. Got tons of wool, quite a hefty chunk of wool. But yeah, go and pick up in a minute. But yeah, so I'll quickly get these on off camera and then I'll see you folks with the. A2 our TLX, uh, was it, 3500 with the trader? And we'll get this loaded and take over to the spinnery. And that is a little bit off the throw as it does. So, yeah, very quick job, took a couple of minutes. But, yeah, so what I should need to do first of all today is actually sawmill. That needs more materials. I'll just get this part up over here a sec. So yeah, we need to get that done. Also, one of our fields is ready to harvest actually. But I think it's the soybean fields. Yeah, soybeans in field two is ready. I'm gonna wait for the sunflower in field one to be done as well at the same time. Then we get this combine at the same time. Then obviously we can use the different headers and that. I'm going to avoid going to the shed because, yeah, I'm still a bit wary with the game crashing. Yes, don't know why it's causing the game to crash, but whenever I go to the shed, actually, it reminds me. Let's go do that. So, yeah, save the game there. And actually, what I need to do is. Can we obtain more in there? Nope. Ah, actually, did we buy this in between episodes or? I'm not sure if I bought it actually in between episodes or uh, in that last episode, but yeah. So we bought the Ponzi Scorpion King, or if you've done it before, we have now. And the reason why I've gone with the Ponzi Scorpion King is apparently it can do. Yeah, I'm sure there's something wrong in the mod description, but it says 464 semi logs. Well, they, they, the circumference of the trees. I'm not too sure on that. However, I am not. Well, I like with the chain on the header. But yeah, so from in the cab, nice and clear. And outside, got a nice gold tinted screen. But yeah, we've got a lot of trees cut down here. And my sort of jump plan is just to tidy things up over here. So I'm thinking keeping like a lot of this square as much as possible. So I may cut like, these trees here across. So yeah, three all these trees here and back to this little I think like twenty two ish whatever yeah, twenty three mirror log, so in theory we should be able to get a 12 meter log and a 6 meter log. Actually, how big are the containers? Is it, is it 8 or 9? 
Nine. Interesting. Actually, can we do nine meter logs? So it really depends on, like, when the, the entire tree length ain't in, in the ground, obviously. All right. So, ah, yeah. So it doesn't have as obviously as support as the. So it doesn't have that guideline, but you know what? That's I can live with the, the guidelines. So. I suppose I'm quite confident when it comes to forestry, so I'm not too worried. So, let's say do 12 meter logs over there. Then, if we get 6 meters to our left, how big is this log? Oh, nice. So, we can actually do 12 and 9 meter logs. How far does this go? Ah, fair enough, so literally the maximum tree length. That should be a nice perfect 9 meter and 12 meters. Let's go buy those containers. I'm thinking, let's go with orange. I think so that goes nice with that. Bit of Mississippi Miss CP Green. Yeah, oh nope. Beige. Sure, why not? Let's have a different colour. So we can get both of them do that. So for the 12 mirror here on first, they can be a bit cheeky up putting the 9 meter on top if we do wish to do that. Perhaps not. Here, I should have asked that one, right? Well, now it's giving us a cut option. But do you have to be careful because there ain't that much of the torrents. So, in theory, well, I have to look at it again. That should be a nice 12 meter log because these should be all the same lengths, right? 3.2 meters. Yep, and so on. 12 meters, 12 meters. Bam, happy days. Now we'll try one more. So, so yeah, I have to roughly guide it. No, that is fine by me. I'll do mix all like, the big, big nine meters and then small twelve meters and reverse that, just so it keeps it quite evenly distributed. But yeah, dam size is. Don't get me wrong. I love like, the fine controls you can have with. How long of a tree you want to go for, but and obviously a lot of these will be obviously going to containers. But these will be sold for a bit more money. In terms of what's needed for the sawmill, I'm not sure they do have some some they do have something there for now, but not a lot left. How is? Oh, actually, no, the paper factory needs more. So yeah, I think we can we'll do a couple, uh, do the two containers. Ah, right, I can't do that out because how that's eight eight seven percent fermented. I'm not sure what. Can we just skip ahead time?
you can know, see so yeah, I'll skip ahead of time, get these fermented, and then, yeah, do the rest of the cutting, get the wool sorted. Around about now, this should be converted into silage. Boom, there we go. Nothing interesting popping up in the used market, that is to be expected. Any contracts? <coughs> nope. I should want to look for prices, absolutely, yay. New sticker for something. So good silage. Best way to sell silage. No. Nah. I'll take that. So in theory. Should just go like that. I was going to say, how do you do it? Like that. There we go. 154 grand. Obviously, this is kept over here, so yeah. Pot and queue over there, but I'm pretty sure it respawns there, like with the toolbox and that. It respawns in the place you put it. Fair enough. And yeah, we'll quickly go and grab the wall, go over to the production. Yeah, it should be really coughing up my car like that, so this does need Oh yes. Four more pads of metal beams. Any more planks? Nope. Long planks, nope. Four tiles, nope, just got enough. Metals just got enough. So yeah, let's go and quickly grab those. And here we go. So we need to grab the beams. Which I'm pretty sure are these boys here, right? The beams, yes, that's what we need. Got a couple of prefab walls, a couple of long planks. Is six thousand years, and well, let's see if we more grabbing more fabric or any so yeah, metal fabric, and that's for the main bits at least for now. I make some floor tiles. Oh, just about getting stopped. Oh, handy lift this nice little forklift there. So yeah, I think if we you know, I got, got a bit notched up on there. So yeah, I'm thinking if we say transport. Actually you know what? Yep, this is what do this. Let's do it the easy way. Let's do it the auto way. So we'll get us over to the boat yard, grab some metal, tear over to the boat yard, grab some floor tiles, tear over to the boat yard. I'll do that. Yeah, I think we'll do that just Saves time, yes I know, to go back and forth a couple of times, but... Ooh, how much the brokers come along? Just gradually getting through it. Gonna be on to stage... Well, stage 3, step 7 next, I think. Yep, step 7 next, so... That's come along very nicely. And that's gonna be my goal is, next year, or next in-game year, Oh, ouch. You put that metal fence there. Not me. But yeah, I think the goal for next year possibly get completed. 
But here's about like a three year project, right? And we're into year two, so yeah. In theory, that should be ready next year. Or by the end of next year. I've seen Dagwin running it. Obviously, I was like seeing all the trailers of that for the road coaster project for the map in general when I was first announced it back in. Well, when was it they announced it? Well, they sort of teased it. I think they did over the summer. Well, well what was going to be included in the pack? Should I rephrase that? Get out of the way. Else should be going on, right? There we go. So I see why he was in the metal going on. Oh, that's why. But yeah, we'll, we'll train. But yeah, we also keep it. Oops. Didn't expect you to spawn up. You know what? That is fine by me. Get you through that. Door. Also, I don't think the road coaster is going to need all of this. Well, not road coaster. Um. Yeah, sure. What? Let's see what if road coaster does need some of this. Yep, yeah, uh, a little bit there. About 400 liters it needed for a fair while, so. I think, to be honest, we'll leave it until around springtime to get it done, but yeah. Hopefully it takes all the metal. If not, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> um... Do not sure do need any more? Nope, only 3,000 litres. Darn it. Um, who else needs metal apart from Elk Creek? Because I can't be bothered to <laughs> load onto drains today. Ah, uh, yeah. That would be nice. Real coaster. Silver market it is then. Yeah, obviously I could send it to our other productions, but actually. What I may do is go to our metal production. Oh, got a lot of lime storing. I should know what those we can sell. Let's distribute that. And I'll distribute to all of our productions. And obviously, whatever is not needed, obviously, will be just saved within the facility so not too worried about that it's sold bit of extra cash and that's also a good thing about the money as well before a couple episodes ago about going generate our own source of passive income with some generators we generate our own electricity or whatever it is, and then we sell some of it back to well, the grid. You know, help out the community a bit. It's a bit laggy here. It's definitely the. F like, as soon as we come onto the field, we feel the frame rate just dropping. Whoops. That was not expected. Oh, not fair enough. Actually, does the all in one production need a more wall? Actually, no, it doesn't. Uh, could. No, no, we need to get a fabric to make clothes. I was thinking, oh yeah, we could just get this and make some clothes. Obviously, we need to make fabric to get clothes, so that scraps that idea. 
Ooh. Should we put in there? Okay, well, no. Ooh. Yeah, we'll see him outside into the vintage clove battery, but. Nah, I think we'll be safe for now. It's all the wool it needs for a fair while. Because 16,000 years. It processes about 600, 12, 2400, so. 2400 ish. About 3000, so that's gonna be good for. Well, nope, not you. About another 5 6 months or so before I have to be worried about it again. Oh dears. That's just one thing I also do like quite as well. It's the fact that. There's a tree coming? No, it ain't. Oh. Oh. Himself. But yeah, as I say, like, with the. The people stop getting in my way and stop distracting me. As I was saying, with. Oh, what was I saying? Oh, the deer, as I was saying. We've already planted our own forest now. Train go past or what? Oh, the train did just go past. Actually, that was quite lucky of us. But yeah, with the train going past. Oh, no, no, no. Bring for a moment. So yeah, as I was saying, with obviously our forest and that. Also, I know I've seen the forests and that in FS22. You have deers and that popping up, but never before did I have any those deers being spawning as often. So actually planting a forest. Well, yeah, in reality it makes sense. You sort of create your own habitat for them, but I didn't think in FS that would have that same effect. Interesting. Uh, do you need any floor tiles? Uh, I guess not. Ah, that's one, one, one thing it didn't need in stage 3, or stage 2. You know what? Fair enough. I'll take my floor tiles elsewhere. Uh, elsewhere is our boot yards. But yeah, just a bit of a supply, just... Please take all this. Thank you. So it's got enough metal in that, enough fabric. Yeah, it's got enough fabric to complete the entire build. The beams, yep. Long planks, oh yes. So what? I'm just going to leave that chundering for just on its own now. It's got all the materials it needs and red cell yacht number three. In about five six months time. Yeah, our ship are doing good, right? So the oh yeah. There's too many pallets. What's been spawning up elsewhere? Perhaps the planks, but... Oh, well, apparently we've got too many pallets. Um, let's have a look at the sawmill a sec. So I guarantee, if it's anything spawning too much, it's going to be the planks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh yeah. It's the planks. Three prefabricated walls. Shame can't lift these yet. Hopefully Yoss with his digital pants mod is working on that. You hear that, Yoss? Get working on these get these lift ball. So we can lift these up and chuck them around. You get. But yeah, so we will continue on with this. Get these cut down. Uh, 
And the fairy just go I said in theory it should be just Yeah, that's perhaps a downside to this. So yeah, this sells you to get the knack of the forest tree. Which I have, but Ah it might help you actually turn it on as well. Yeah, I think actually turn on the har the obviously the harvester. Does make a bit of a difference? Just a little bit, but yeah. As I was saying before, my sheep is got involved there, so yeah. We will continue chopping down logs, so this is going to be the 9 meter pile. And this is going to be the 12 meter pile. Oh, I should have so. 12. I swear we had a mod in 19 that within the cab it actually shows you. Like, like, the tree thing if you cut, like what's the selective length so you can do all this in cab and not have the window open. You know, the help window. I'm not sure what's happened to that. Yeah, I think we'll stick to outside the cab. Come on, that's perfect. That's the nice little light. For some reason, it's not letting me cut. I think this thing's broken. Ah, uh, again. Turn it on him. Have I got auto engine? What's my auto engine sentence on? That's why I have too much issues. No, yeah, auto engines are... Oh, uh, yeah. So this she cuts it... It yeah, turns it off every time we leave there, so... Note to self for a second time. Make sure it's actually turned on before you start thinking about selling it again. So then back to the DOSA, is this broken? And they look at it, um, sir, no, just really she got to turn it on, right? Done. So I think we'll continue on this, and I'll see you folks in a short while once we get this done, I think. And hopefully I'll remember to keep this thing turned on.
back into the game for like the hundredth time now just with yep constant game crashes don't know sure what's causing it a lot of times we went over our new yard and other times just random in general no idea why should we be the trees like over here with the trees here not having significant frame rate issues but you know what it is what it is so yeah in time that's for what I can remember got a lot of work done in terms with the timbering sold a few containers we sold a 9 and 12 meter container first of all then we sold two 9 meter containers and was being a bit cheeky we did actually fill those containers with nine and a half meter logs and except that five with no issues trains come in of course let's, let's beat the train can't beat the train nope oh, the bad decisions were made here oh great <laughs> what am i supposed to do now game no 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 Yeah, I think I should off <laughs> gone for that train. That's a bummer. How did they get that back? Oh, you doing thing? No, it's gonna sit there and just jolt around. And I want those logs back because there are 20, 20 meter logs. <sighs> Bear with me a sec. Where are you that saved off or <laughs> that saved from? Let's so now know the train is somewhere on its way. But yeah, so the timber, this timber here is mainly for the sawmill. The old sawmill. And this is what I mean by the so you fill in the TLX. We would not have had that issue. Literally just I ironically that was perfectly timed. That's just it was just so sensitive. Yes, it's fully loaded. But yeah, yeah, no transport contract on that field is only partially completed because we had a another collision with a train off camera. No. If we can do this. Sometimes that works. Sometimes you just got. Grab it in that. I said, just gave her that tipping point. Perfectly tied to the point of. Oh no, of course, a traffic jam. Van, you're going to need to move. No, fine. That's inconsiderate traffic. But yeah, so this timber is going to go to the tour mill because we did provide some that in the time lapse. And we did provide about half of what the paper factory needs also during the time lapse. So the rest of this is just going to be sort of split between here and there. With the all in one production, with the production of the furniture. That is doing okay at the moment, I think. Yeah, it's pretty sure it's doing right in terms of uh, t uh, timber. Strong and really speak then. I thought it was like, yeah, strong and speak was what we're also looking for timber, yeah. And there goes the train that nearly killed us. But. Yeah, I think he's got about 16, 1, 6,000 years left in there, so... What we could do potentially, actually, as well, is... 
whatever timber we've got left over. Perhaps we'll provide that there. Actually, how much timber does it consume a month? It's got 16,000 years left over. Eh, yeah, yeah, sure, part on train tracks is fine. So go down to the all-in-one production. Yeah, I don't want any of those. We want... Actually, yes, we want... So that goes through 800 years a month. Well, that's in 900, so... Yeah, that's got, still got... Ooh, over a year's worth of timber left. It's not a fast production, but it does it steadily. Now... Let's not tip this over. But yeah, these are a bunch of 20 meter logs. So at one point, just I was able to get away with doing 12 meter logs. Leave that 12 set with the harvester, and then do like cut the trees. And at most, we'll get 9.7 meter logs. And if that was ever the case, all we really had to do was. Um, oh, this is filled up. Whoopsie. You know what? I was going to say, why wasn't it accepting it? Oh, you know what then? If that's the case then, just see if you park there. I'm sure you'll be good. Eventually get over. Well, complete that contract off camera, so yeah. I'll be 20 grand, I'll go up soon. And because of her here, so. I think what we do first of all is go to the wood turner. And then we'll ride up to the paper factory. And from there, we should be fine. Especially now we know that. The old sawmill is actually filled up with timber. And these are a bunch of 10 meter logs, these are. Yeah, I think that's very quickly, but perhaps in the next episode, we're going to have to do some pallet cells, because I think I'm pretty sure we're hitting that pallet limit again. But with the planks, we do got our other goose egg trader, and that is. Oh, well, is it bumper pool now? I'm not sure. Go. But yeah, whatever it is, that's at sawmill or the old sawmill. However, planks we get, it's auto loading straight to there, so we should have some pad space left. Because at one point we were hitting like the pad limit, which does suck. I think how giants nerfed it, especially like I made this point, made this sort of pivot rant. Um, what series was it? Oh yeah, my Comson series. Where I had like literally double of what the PS5 limit is, like 50 whatever so pallets or was that the PS4 limit? I'm uh, not sure. 100, like, 100 for PC now, like I had like 100 pallets spawned up on constant and yeah, I had no issues, had some maybe frame rate issues if I was like monitoring it, but nothing it wasn't dropping down to like 30, 15, 20 FPS. Oh, I really hate these stumps. I know it is, this stump here to my left. You are the devil. But yeah, a lot of these stumps we will grind off in the next episode. Pending the snow ain't too bad. Cause obviously we're into winter now, so snow's gonna hit very soon. And it's just one of those things where that time of year <coughs> Pause race here. But yeah, I do think the paper factory will take all of the timber here, so like we did before, whatever's left over, we can just plonk it on and leave the trader near 
Ah, uh, what's it? The uh, spawn point. So we're up if indigestion heartburn there. But yeah, so that's gonna be that for this episode. Well, that's gonna be food. The pet. Oh yeah, again okay, winter harvesting. We have got harvesting to do, but no idea how that's gonna transpire and plan out. So a lot of that's gonna be played by ear and that. But yeah, it's just one of those things. We may skip the winter to like January into February. And includes whatever clips or screenshots of any significant work we do. If anything, it'll be transport work or any contract work, just so that. Just have that sort of again, like, I know what Mrs. P does is with it. Just have a bit of that transparency of, like, here's what we've done off camera. And uh, rather than it, also the next episode, having an extra 50, 100, 200 grand, I'd be like, yep. Do this, even as a couple of screenshots, or what I tend to do is just clips, you know, a couple of snippet second snippets. So, within 10 seconds, you know what we've done in between episodes, and happy days. And then, oops, I've got a log. What, wait a minute, why am I not allowed to cut this tree? That's weird. Oh, like, oh, some of the issues we had with... Oh, oh. Downside to this big backhander, it's like, all of a sudden it could just have a massive reach to the trailer. I was like, why? But yeah, so pull out there. But yeah, so by uh, where we got the workshop area. Uh, and that's where I had a bit of a collision with the train and had to some logs left over. Because literally got the trailer stuck on the train tracks, wedged into the fence, could not move it, and then train. Actually, the last thing I realised is that trains in certain video games, like... Well, when I say certain video games, I mean... The two I think of is... Farm Simulator... And Grand Theft Auto... Or particularly... GTA V... Like, the fact I actually, well... Well... I'll be surprised... Well, actually, I won't be surprised if we get Farm Simulator 25 before we have... Grand Theft Auto... GTA 6 out, but a bit of a tangent there, but yeah, the trains are just indestructible. Like, nothing could literally stop them. I think the only way to stop like, the train in Grand Theft Auto is like, literally exploding it with mods and that, but oh yeah, not quite 10,000 hours of what Doc Viper has done on GTA, but we have enough, enough grinding, like, literally, back, well, I'll say back in the day, say back in, like, when I was, like, a couple of years ago, after I had my, what you, where are we going? Ah, that's it, Paper Factory, that's where I was going to, and it's all the way down here, so, back down the road, turn right and this junction, turn left, and down that pathway. Sorry, folks, force of habit. But yeah, obviously, back in obviously 2018, but regular reviews of the channel, you know that I was involved in a bit of a significant motorcycle accident. I see the barriers come down after the train goes past, or as the train's going past. Again, another tangent there. But yeah, what I was saying is, like, obviously, back in 2018, I had a motorcycle accident. Long story short, idiot in the transit cut me up in, left me pretty injured, and yeah, like Aussie in the 12 months it took me to proper recover and actually get back into work, I was sweating, like, oh mate, I was a proper good old sweater, like, games like, ooh, 
Even as I love to play the past for tanks, but Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, grinding all these missions, especially the, the biker business. Yeah, that's the thing about Grand Theft Auto I did love. Nowadays, it's right where the. It's, it, it has its patches and now it's had updates. But Rockstar uh, is one of those companies where it just loves to take your money. Loves to take your money and not really put it back into the game as such. Or it does, but not not not, not the value it should do. But uh, I think that's just with certain game companies, like especially another one that I know, well, a game I come close to is Formula One with EA. EA's got a nice history of ruin. I won't say ruin video games, but yeah. Paper factory, where are we going? Oh, damn, we got. Oh, I got an idea here. Sorry, Car, you got back up, but yeah. This is a. Obviously, I know game companies do certain things in a certain way, and it's gonna go well! Not quite the recording I had in planned. There we go, at the paper factory now. We've made it. But yeah, just game over ruining game franchises or certain games in general. Just for money, but uh it's worth we live in, but but things like focus and entertainment, like you did Farm Sim 19 or the publisher of FS19 and Swells with SnowRunner and even Giants with Farm Sim you tell that they put whatever they get they put it back in and yeah it's a nice development team actually bear with me a sec because I'm trying to get my trailer oh do I have to winch on here Ah, bugger, that's one thing I need to do. I should, yeah, because obviously with the TLX, it got the update, didn't it, with the winch system. Ah, oh, I got an idea. Oh, come on, land not owned. Now we own that. Oh, she has just 120 grand just gone like that. But yeah, tools. So yeah, we should have four extras. Did this come with the winch system? I'm not sure, I swear there was... Or was it the 2020 that had the... Actually, I may need to look or oh, yeah, I think I need to look. And there's me getting excited there, and I was like, oh, we can do this. Off-road design. But I swear there was a... Guessing not. Yeah, you got circle, you got side steps now. 
Void mirrors. Oh, but yeah, bear, bear with me. And there we go, so yeah. I had to leave the game, I had to reload because for some reason I was trying to configure this. It was having some weird loading issues where it's like a bit easier in the past when you had the game crash in the, in the shop window when I had that blue loading circle. This time, that blue circle stayed, but it sort of froze, but then gone after a minute, so. Uh, I have no idea what's going on here. Hopefully, Megaly broken. But yeah, it's just. Yeah, where are the issues? That, that's only happened like just now. Like, before Game Shops constantly in this episode off camera, bits here and there. No issues whatsoever, but. Uh, it's one of those things, I guess. But yeah, so. I think that's pretty much everything done. All of our stuff is all supplied, so. You can think, see it until tomorrow. Just quickly, just to see how things are. We got snow. Oh, great demand at the container warehouse. Okay, so it hasn't set yet. But we can't really harvest because. Well, yeah. If we harvest, it counts as rain, and we'll use our crop yield, so that sucks. Any interesting contracts popped up? Just rock removal and deadwood. That's no fun. How is our productions doing? Got plenty of carton rolls. I think we spawned another pallet paper roll and the current roll is in storage so that can spawn. That's filled up, that's filled up. Ooh, lock shingles needs some long planks. We can help you out with that. That's still churning away. Go over here to look at that, we've got two pallets of fabric. How is the boat you're doing? Just getting there, it's pretty much built the hole. But yeah, it's still gonna be a few more months before we really see anything coming out of that. And a road coaster. I think that's gone into stage 7 now, so making progress. But yep, yeah, that is where we're going to leave it today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to hand down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. But for what you do, thanks for watching. But for now, we will a very soon.